Big time. All right. Well, the school year winding down. Students are starting to think about that summer vacation, but their parents remain focused on the safety of their children. Now, our recent report about seatbelt laws in Georgia prompted a question from several parents. They want to know why most school buses in Georgia lack seatbelts. So we put that question to our Y guy, Jerry Carnes. From a deadly bus accident in Chattanooga to the loss of a six-year-old in middle Georgia, the cries for seatbelts in school buses are getting louder. It's a campaign that now includes the family of Arlana Haynes. It's a must that it be on the bus so that no other children have to go through what mine did and no other parent has to go through what I'm going through now. Why aren't all students buckled up as they travel to and from school? It's been almost three years since the head of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said all school buses should have shoulder and lap belts. Crash tests show what can happen to students who aren't buckled in during a rollover crash. But the federal government still doesn't require it. In fact, the feds continue to insist students are adequately protected by padded energy absorbing seats. The Georgia Department of Education tells us seat belts are an option for local school districts that choose to pay for them. Fulton County is doing just that. The belts add about $8,000 to the cost of a new bus. The feds say they're working with areas using seat belts on buses to learn how to deal with issues like cost. They insist even without seat belts, buses are still the safest way to travel to and from school. Loved ones of Arlana Haynes are among those who insist the buses could be much safer. Absolutely. If you have a question for the Y guys, send it on over either Facebook, tweet it to us or email it. We're here for you. Well, many